Hello and welcome to City Skylines, the best city building game ever made. Um, you can call me Zero and we are going to build ourselves a city. Now this, I know I keep starting series and you're all going to be rolling your eyes and thinking what the bloody hell is he doing now. Basically uh, we have a new problem which is since Windows 10 um, came out and I installed it, um, I'm no longer able to record RimWorld. So, like Grand Prix World, both of these Let's Plays are not finished and done and dead. They are merely on pause. But I really want to keep banging out content for you guys and making sure there's stuff for you to watch. So, I'm trying to find games that I can just sort of jump in and out of for comparatively short sessions, just until the real stuff comes back. Um, so we are moving to maintain our sort of three series system which we previously was going to be RimWorld Dirt Rally and um, Grand Prix World. Now for the foreseeable future it's going to be City Skylines, the Adventures in Bastardry with Joe and Grant and Dirt Rally. Um, now if I can get either of the RimWorld or the Grand Prix World Let's Play is going again soon. I'll move to a rotation system where one week you get a RimWorld and a Grand Prix World video, and then the week following you'll get City Skylines and Adventures in Bastardry, and every week will be a Dirt Rally week. That's my main Let's Play at the moment because it's something that no matter how tired I am or how little time I've got, I can jump on, record for 15 minutes, and then leave that to upload while I go and do other stuff. Um, so that's really convenient for me, it's a good way to sort of keep putting content out. Um, I'd appreciate your feedback on anything that I'm doing, um, I hope you like this Let's Play, I think we're going to have a lot of fun together on this. Um, how I'm doing this is I am building a city equivalent of me and my channel. So <clears throat> I've installed a bunch of, of mods from the Steam Workshop. First ones first, we're actually going to be using Loon Valley map. Uh, the Loon Valley is home to the area I am from. So um, the city of Lancaster was where I was born and this is a height relief map of that area. Um, that's why I've also highlighted the left hand drive option. So we are going to be building a city on top of where my home city is. Um, on top of that there's going to be other aspects of my world creeping in because obviously I live in Berlin now um, so I've got a bunch of sort of Berlin landmarks to plop in and whatnot and the districts of the city are going to be named after in jokes people you guys whatever we're going to build this as a collaborative city so as things progress you can leave your comments your likes and dislikes or whatever and I'll try and integrate your feedback into how I build the city. Um, before we go any further, big big thanks to the Freeman for making this map top bloke. Okay, so this will be Zero City. Zero Cotty apparently. Let's dive in. So, here we are. Uh, at the moment we can build only within this square here but there is this whole area to expand into. Um, now I believe this one square alone is much bigger than a square you get in um, the 2013 SimCity game. So lots of benefit there um, already, we've got plenty of room to play with. So. One of the things I'm acutely aware of is, let's pause the game, is traffic. Traffic becomes a continual problem and it's good to try and manage it early. What I'm going to do is try and build sort of a very small rural community now and not try and plan it like a city. The reason that I'm doing that, and it's probably the way most people play it actually, is it's the way I don't normally play. I always play as if I know this is going to become a huge city at some point and I, that makes me scared of demolishing stuff and remodeling stuff and I think a city should should evolve really. I think it's really important to 
build for what you need now and in the near term than what you feel will be necessary in the long term because I always end up building myself into a corner somewhat. So with that in mind, we're going to get onto it. Um, I can't build any big roads at all. At all. So rather than just connecting these entry and exit roads up, my plan is to go in like this. Are they straight? No, they're not. Of course they're not. I'm going to be making a lot of mistakes, so brace yourself for that. Can I please? Any chance? No. Okay, never mind. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to have basically a a rectangle that connects um, these two roads together. So almost like a roundabout, but I can make use of the space inside it and outside it because this is an area that traffic will organically pass all the time. It feels to me like a good place to um, close enough. It's going to drive some of you crazy but I can change that later and as you can see the terrain is pretty rough in that part of the world. Um, but basically because traffic is going to organically use this um, it strikes me as a good place to put commercial stuff. Um, let's try and even that out so none of you wish me ill. How far, how far did that come out? Just one apparently. So if I destroy this, there we go. All better. So traffic will come in on one side, this side, and then be able to exit at various the four corners, basically here to reach other places. Um, now, how am I going to do the actual planning bit? So, I'm thinking there's a lot of forestry capability here that I'll try and save for the future. So I'm guessing industry is going to sort of hug this area a bit more, and then over here I'll have a more residential mix. So let's just build ourselves a residential street. Or two. This terrain is not particularly not particularly friendly. Um zone that shit up. Now, obviously people need certain things and those certain things are electricity and water. I'm going to deal with water first of all. So which way is the water flowing? This way. So I want to collect my water from over here and I want to get rid of my water waste over here. Should have used the water tower really, but whatever. So I'll run the water pipes down here. Power, I'm going to shove right over here for the moment. And then I'll spread it out this way. So. Something like that. And I know I'm wasting money to some degree here, but that's unfortunate. You just have to let me do my own thing. And this here. 
thing drives me nuts and everyone should have water and power excellent excellent I'm gonna go ahead and zone my commercial space here straight away and really now what remains for us to do initially is to expand our residential space um, to a sort of level whereby we begin to unlock useful things. Uh, yeah, I didn't anticipate that, did I? That'll do for now and I'll delete it later. So, now we need to plan out some industry. Um, I'm not going to encroach on the trees too much, but this area isn't great for building. So maybe just this little area here, um, we'll have to clear and just maintain the forest up here. So let's make sure we're maximising our use of space. Hmm. Actually, what I will do is I'll build a similar sort of system here, and then over here I can dump our garbage. I realise garbage is the American word, um, and a little part of me just died. So, there's that. So there, we've got a nice little industrial area there. I'm reluctant, because this is the main entry next point, to put residents here. It doesn't feel correct way to do stuff. So let's continue to expand. I don't want overlap. Okay, it's going to have to be a gap there and we'll just have to all live with it together. Water still connected there, yes it is. Power should still be okay, super. See now in here what I'm gonna do is put a lot of our services and commercial interest buildings and then branch the residential areas off. And this is gonna be a small town in and of itself here. So finally we're getting some traffic coming in. We're not making, in fact, we're losing a considerable amount of money in taxes, but hopefully that should begin to reverse as we go on. I think we've made the investment that we needed to make early on. Of course, there's no water for the industry to use because I'm an idiot and bad at video games and I forgot it. So that's going to start generating some jobs for us, which is what we wanted. It's kind of like a, a bit of an industrial estate there. It will get an appropriate name in due course. Um, let's also, I'm, I didn't really want to, but let's throw some residential up here temporarily just to get some extra tax revenue in while there's demand. That's not going to get any power, is it? Oh no, it will. It will get some power. Ice cube factory. So we've got jobs available, but we have become a small hamlet, which gives us the medical centre, the landfill site, and the elementary school. Uh, that's stuff we really do want to invest in, particularly this. Way. And then for 
educational purposes, we're going to put this straight in the middle. Um, because this is going to connect up over here and we want basically to be best placed to serve as many residents as possible. I see you don't have water. Allow me to remedy that. And we don't have enough money for our clinic just yet, but we'll get there. Just don't get sick. Don't get sick right now. That's the that's the tip that I'm giving as mayor. Now I don't know how well this is serving the entire town as a whole, whole because it's quite far away. But it seems Let's see if I can find a, a truck. There's one, so it is getting across there. That's fine then. And we're running out of power. So we're going to throw up a another wind turbine over here. And that was the last of our money. I'm not going to take a loan just yet. I'm going to play the long game, let the tax money come in, keep it up on high speed so we can uh, spam quite quickly and it's, let's get down and have a walk around it's already looking nice I do love how this game looks I really do it, it, when you zoom in like this it takes on sort of a almost a, like a model quality that I find really really appearing I know, I know I know some people don't like the way it sort of blurs around the, the edge, but to me, I sort of, I really do like that. So, we're going to rename some stuff for a laugh. This is, um... That is actually a news agent in that area. So, a little bit of a nod there. God, we're low on power again. And we don't have money for another turbine, so you're just going to have to deal with it. And the elementary school, we are going to name after our very own Grant. Or at least his internet name. How much for a wind turbine? 6,000. We're getting there. We're getting there. Keep the speed up. And I'll plot that sort of here. Because, you know, we're already getting noise problems anyway. Come on. Don't mess me about. there. Yeah, people are moving out and getting annoyed, so our tax take is dropping. I really need to get this money together. Oh, that's getting quite bad now. Come on. And we're there. Awesome. I'm going to stick with green power for now. I think eventually it will become necessary to move to something a bit sturdier because um, you see how quickly we're burning through money really yeah I know you need healthcare do I take out a loan? yeah you've got to speculate to accumulate so we'll name the health centre to Joe. I'll continue expanding the town outwards, but for the moment 
moment. Let's just let's just go with that. And we need some commercial space. Um, what I'll do actually is. Yeah. Oh, we're now a worthy village, so we can unlock districts, fire department, police department, some unique buildings, and finally we get some specialization. Uh, we finally get some specialization. So, let's get on with that. And we got a statue. It's all coming up good. So, I'm going to create a block there for commercial. And we can start naming some districts. This is going to be our only polluting area, so I'm going to name it after the real industrial zone. <coughs> so this will be... The White Lund Industrial Estate. Love you, Lancashire. Um, and we're not going to have any specific laws for that area. <clears throat> but what really happens in that particular area of the world is there's quite a lot of agriculture. It's quite a rural sort of area. So I'm going to make that a thing as well on the way in. So let's... farmland set up here. I don't have a name for that yet, so we'll call it Hillside. I'm trying not to do too much in this first video, so you guys have some chance at feedback, but... Um, what I want to do is... Was it? I thought it was in this menu. Oh, that's it. Farming. Got there in the end. So, at the moment we've got a lot of demand for residential, which we're going to have to begin servicing. Uh, we've got some money coming in. I think I'd like to invest in a fire station, which we'll name later. And we're going to invest in a police station that I'm going to put here. Um, so it's got a better chance of servicing both sides of the city. Actually, I've spent too much money, but we need a, f a fire station over here really which I'll tuck in somewhere behind there I guess. So this entry area of the city up to there probably. Again gonna use a real name. We're not going to name this area just yet. Instead, we're going to build ourselves some more power. Because that's a continual problem for some reason. I think the time is already coming, actually, where I'm going to have to um, begin to look at alternative power sources to alternative power sources. We're going to expand our commercial a bit. I think that makes some sense. And then we'll put a residential block in here as well. Maybe. I'll connect that up in a moment. For now we'll get people moving in. Is there water up there? Yes, there is. How's the power looking? 
Yeah, we should get power up there too. So now really, I mean, we are losing money again, but once these guys move in, that should begin to reverse. And what we really want to be doing is trying to rely on our own supplies of cash than constantly borrowing. I think it was good we were able to invest the way we have been able to invest so far, but I just undid all my good work there. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to put residential here as well. Try and get some more taxpayers moving in. So, <clears throat> my next goal really is to give Hala some residential area just back here. And then we'll continue to basically mirror this system over here in the as yet unnamed and undistricized district. And then over up on this hill, I'm planning the first area, I suppose, for the more high wealth residents bit of a view over everyone else. I don't know how... No, it's not really that much higher, but it's something. And then I'm going to try and use some of this dead space down here. Um, so maybe we'll pass all these streets underneath the power lines, connect them up, and then run another residential line down here. But so far, good start. Feeling quite happy. I don't have enough money to connect that up. Of course I don't. Come on, guys. So we have our first farm up and running. Um, not quite the enthusiastic uptake I was hoping for, but we're not developing any major traffic problems just yet. I'm feeling quite confident in the way I've laid this out so far, that everything's going to be reasonably accessible and there's not going to be much of a choke point because all the heavy industry traffic is just going to come here, go there, and we'll straight down here. It's not going to interfere with the traffic around here. Now is that they don't have power or they're not connected? Yeah. I think we're also going to have to invest in a power plant that isn't powered by nature. So. Let's recap. We have built a small commercial district named after an actual small district. We have built an industrial estate named after an actual industrial estate. We've got an elementary school and we've got a medical centre named after a person who profits from hackers in GTA and the man who will one day kill me. Um, and we've built a bunch of houses. Um, we have a dump, we've got together some power, and we are poisoning our own water supply just yet. I hope you'll join me next time. Um, I hope you're as enthusiastic about this Let's Play as I am. I'm really looking forward to building this city collaboratively, and I will speak to you soon, sometime. Take care.